Yes, I come join us in the kitchen because we are about to wow our guests with a beautiful stuffed pork roast that's super simple to make. But don't worry, we're not going to tell those guests. They're going to be really impressed. Welcome back, Milk Street TV cook and recipe developer, Bianca Borges. Welcome back, Bianca. Thank you. It's so lovely to have you here. Thank you for having me back. You're really quite impressive, Bianca. I mean, I don't know <laughs> any other way to say it, but I'm so impressed with your I'll come skills. back anytime. <laughs> I'll just, I'll, I will just keep complimenting you. And, and this is, again, one of those recipes that really is so impressive. And this actually came, was inspired by a, a South American dish, right? Yes, from Argentina and Uruguay. And it originally took a very tough cut of meat, stuffing it with a lot of things to make it taste good. <laughs> and you say it's easy to make, although it looks incredibly impressive and difficult. Well, it's a showstopper, and that's what's beautiful about it. You have this visual effect, but it's actually very easy. All right, well, you're going to show us how to do it, and it starts with a beautiful pork loin, right? Yes, we came around to using a boneless pork loin because it's a very easy cut of meat to work with. Okay. It also has a lot of good flavor, good texture, and it's relatively lean. Okay. So what we've done is the loin is actually this, but twice as big. We've started butterflying it, and I'm going to show you how to do the other half. All right. But you want to do this to make it flat so that when we add the fillings, we can roll it up. And butterflying also does not need to be intimidating. You say it's easy. Not at all. And the trick is, see, you keep the knife level with the board. Okay. And you just make short oh. strokes. And I imagine it's also very important to have a sharp knife. Very sharp knife. And it can be a small knife, a large knife, and you're just going to unroll it as you go. Look at that. Wow, this oh, is so cool. Bianca. It's pretty great, isn't it? You're a magician. And look at the, the pork loin. You can see when I said it's on the lean side, there's not a lot of sinew or fat inside of it, which makes it perfect for this. There you go. It's look sort of that. like a meat DIY. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's that's the right way to bring it to you early. That's why I'm understanding <laughs> things now, yeah. yeah. And then the first time you do it, you mess it up, just give it a few whacks with a, with a meat mallet or with a rolling pin and even it up a little so bit. So you can flatten it out a little bit. All right, yep. now we season. Yes, now we're going to start seasoning. We have a mixture here of salt and pepper. Okay. We've added cumin and coriander and just a little bit of brown sugar to give those flavors a little mm -hmm. bit of specialness. That's a nice touch. Uh, and we are going to season the inside and the outside with this. Okay. And that's pretty generous. It's a lot of flavoring, yes. It's a big piece of roast. It's four, okay. it's about a four pound roast and it's going to feed maybe six to eight people. Okay. So it's not as much as it looks like in terms of flavor. All right. Okay. Now you want to do both sides, but for the sake of TV and time, and because we have our little strings here, we're just going to do one side, right? Yes. I was going to talk about this. We've pre-cut some strings. Okay. And you can put them under. It just makes it easier to tie the roast up later. Okay. And now we are taking the chimichurri that we made earlier. I love chimichurri. You know <laughs> so is this traditional chimichurri? This is relatively traditional. This is parsley and oregano with garlic and chilies and a little bit of olive oil. It's so good. In, in South American countries, they will put chimichurri on the table with a basket of bread. Oh. And you just Call it, it a oh, yeah. Yeah. It's so yeah. good. And you by the time the food gets there, you're full. Yeah. <laughs> you can put it on anything, really. Yeah, now, really most good. of the chimichurri will serve as a sauce later. We have it set aside here. And okay. about a quarter cup is going to go in. And this the already smells amazing. That's I good. know. Oh, it really and I know it's also very important to make sure you have that little layer of fat on the on the outside of the roast, yes, correct? Yes, let me show you that. Pork loin usually will come trimmed, but if it doesn't, see, there's just a little bit. Oh. And that ends up on the outside, and that gives a lot of flavor during the roasting. Okay. So we'll leave that. Can you help? Sure, of course. Oh, I know you love to cook. I do. Your house is probably the house that everyone wants to come to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the time. But it was like that when I was growing up as well. Yeah. I got my love of cooking because of my mom and my grandmother. You know, that's just how it starts. Yes, exactly. No, yeah. it's weird, though. We haven't been invited to Debbie. <laughs> oh, I apologize for you that. Know, I, was, I, know, I was just going to say <laughs> just said, hey, Debbie, I had a great time at your house the other day. <laughs> but I thought that would have been awkward. No, but totally. <laughs> when I was making the cookbook, Look at this. every single one of you were taste <laughs> testers, right? That's true. So what are we putting in here? This is the capicola. Now, this is so a cured good. sliced meat. You can use prosciutto. You mm. can use whatever your favorite cut, whatever cut you can get. It's delicious. Just make sure it's sliced thinly so that when you're slicing through the whole roast, it... Uh, you get a beautiful effect when it goes through easy. And now some green olives. Yes, some chopped green olives. Once again, any kind you like. And we are going to add some Ooh. red, bright red color. These are roasted red peppers. You can make these yourself or you can uh, buy them in a jar already done. Just blot them dry. Okay. Okay. And now we add our egg, which is also very the, part of the traditional South American dish. It isn't is, it? yes, boiled egg. It's a good way to add protein and flavor to a dish. So you have a little <laughs> trick to make sure your, your little eggs don't slide around. That's right, because boiled eggs can be kind of slippery. <laughs> so we add a little bit of breadcrumb. It gives the eggs traction, uh, so to speak. Uh, and it also helps, it'll absorb excess moisture and bring the filling together, too. Okay. 
I do know you said it took a while to come around to the pork loin, though. How many times did you test this out? That's what uh, I want to know. <laughs> this yeah. was a very long journey. We're going to do it all. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right here so they don't way. pop yeah. out. Probably, I'd say a good two dozen times. Wow. Oh, right. That's okay. a good tip. There we go. Because as you roll, they're going to pop out otherwise. Exactly. Good to know. Line them up right there. So let's just turn this. It's amazing because okay. you eat something and you forget how much work went into yeah. developing a dish. You just think it is perfect as is. Would you hold those strings? Down? Of course, it's perfect. There you go. Right. So it might need you might need a few people to roll her up. But yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so, so nervous there. right now. Look at this. I know, right? Is that it's weird? Uh... I'm very nervous. Orly's next belt is going to look just like this. <laughs> Actually, before we finish the suspense, yeah. this is amazing. Um, I meant to say if you want. Before you put the eggs on, you can take the roast to that point before the eggs, okay. refrigerate it overnight. So do that a day ahead. Oh, that's right. And oh, then great. most of your work is done. And then oh. in the time the oven preheats, you finish it up huh. and you're ready to go. All right. So the eggs are in there. We're rolling it up. And you can see it's not as hard as it looks. No. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Look at how wow. big it is. Over, right. And then we're just going to use it. And if anything falls out, you just tuck it right back in. And I imagine it's very important to tie this up. Yes. Because you have otherwise. To tie it. it will unfurl yeah. if, you don't, if you don't tie it up. Okay. Are you supposed to tie tight, or will that like? Yeah, you want to tie snugly because uh, the roast will shrink a little bit as it cooks, oh. and then this just helps it stay together. Once at a certain point in the cooking, it will solidify and it'll stay where where it is. But this this helps in the beginning. Sorry. Yeah, putting little Thank toothpicks you. in here isn't going to work. Nah, <laughs> Not, you know what I mean. This is a little bit bigger than a pig in a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> Almost ready here. So you want about eight ties, about an inch apart. Okay. Okay. And then we place that on our little cooking rack and yep. we gonna be going to go onto our there roasting rack and you put a seam side down. So there's the seam and you want that on the bottom and that beautiful fat is on the top. And then we can add the rest of our seasoning at this point since we didn't add it earlier. Okay. So this is a Some good good oil. improvisatory move here. <laughs> okay. I feel also like you cover can't go with wrong. Olive oil. It's going to be amazing, regardless. Yeah, it's a it's a very um, versatile thing. Yeah, and you can tailor it to your tastes, inside there and out, go. right? So Bianca, it also it cooks in our oven for quite some time, doesn't it? Once you get it to in the oven, it's hands off. It cooks for an hour and a half to two hours, depending and, on the size. Depending right? on the size, and then uh, you want to use an instant read thermometer to test for doneness. Okay. And then it has to rest oh, wow. for about a half hour to another hour. This is one of those roasts. It will wait for you. Yeah. You don't have to worry about getting it to the table at a certain amount of time. It will wait for you until you're ready. Which is well, do you know who's not going to wait any longer? Right. <laughs> Our guests. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're we're smelling it. We've we're been learning. patient. <laughs> <laughs> Notes. We're very hungry. <laughs> now, wow. Eyes. Is this the knife we're using to cut this? Yes. Woo. Okay. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? Here it is, okay. Bianca. Great. Let's see Ooh, this beautiful. beautiful. And it's not going to fall apart when we cut it, huh? Well, I hope not. Well, let's see. <laughs> now it cuts beautifully. Look at that. <gasps> wow. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. beautiful. Your kitchen team is phenomenal. Oh, thank you. Okay. There you go. Wow. Right, good. Here we Gorgeous. Go. Slice of that over there. And we'll... Oh, it's warm. It's perfect. Oh. It's perfect. All right. Go on, lady. Oh, thank you. Please. Oh, okay. Thank you. And don't forget to remove the strings as you go along. Oh, that's yes. a good idea. You don't want to be eating that. Right. You ready, Lawrence? Uh, for last you know what? I'm going to give you. We have to have a perfect slice for you. Okay. Let's there you go. Oh, my okay. goodness. So excited. Oh, and a little chimney. Oh, that on rub. Top. Oh, yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. yeah. That rub. Yeah, holy so cow. Excited. Okay. Mm, so good. Okay. Thank you, Fiona. Right. Lawrence, you're, you're going to love this. Okay. They say all good things are worth waiting yes, for. Yes, that's very right. true. And Debbie, you have to take a bite because it is just phenomenal. <laughs> you're ready. If we could find here. You can. Oh, yeah, here I can. Thank you. Thank you so oh, oh, use your much. Fork. Oh, good. Use your fork. This I'm is not definitely oh, worth the nice wait. Lawrence, right. please try it out. And for the full okay. recipe, right. you can no, visit hallmarkchannel.com. And be sure to check out Milk Street Magazine, available wherever magazines are sold and through the Milk Street website.